How's it going everybody? It's Aparicio and today I'm going to be breaking down a shot that I got shooting a promo and then the grade I did for it and then it's pretty much going to be showing why I shot it the way I shot it and why I graded it the way I graded it pretty much. So we're going to break down the shot first and then we'll break down the grade and if you want to just watch the grading breakdown you can go ahead and skip to that. So yeah let's go ahead and break this down. So we have our shot here right? First things first I shot this on Sony FX3 and I use the Sony 24 to 70 G Master 2. And this is shot in a restaurant called the Modern in Orlando, or the Orlando, Florida that just got hit by a hurricane. So obviously in the restaurant's really warm already. And there's not too many lights up top um, that are strong because that would have made the shot a little bit uglier, I believe. And I would have had to uh, expose um, his face more with uh, a key light just to fill in those kind of ugly shadows from a uh, light right above his head But right here. I had a an LED panel. That was about 3200 Kelvin. I believe I used one of these gels um, To make the light a little bit warmer just so it seemed more like the light from behind him So that made the shot better and obviously we're just doing some motivated lighting and then on his left side my right um, I just used the sunlight as you can see here and I had a diffuser right there next to his face and just kind of diffuse some of that sunlight. It wasn't too cloudy so the environment wasn't going to change too much uh, with the clouds moving in front of the sun. I was like alright this is good. This is all the night, the light we need in the background was as exposed as it needed to be. Uh, not too bright, not too dark. It was a 24 to 70 lens, so and then I zoomed in. I did a 50 millimeter focal length for this shot. I thought it, that'd be good for this shot. I liked the the sunglasses on. It had the reflection of the door in front of uh, the subject, which um, was pretty bright. Added kind of cool reflection to his sunglasses to the shot. Kind of adds a little bit, I think. And I'll show you the grade I did and why I did the grade I did. All right, so let's break down this grade. All right, let's turn all these off, see what we were working with to start. This is putting it in, you know, with the color space transform. I just made a group and in the group pre-clip, I had the color space transform in and you can see the settings here. I have a color space transform color management video right up here if you need to watch it. And then right here on the group post clip, I have the color space transform out and then I just added all the clips to that group. All right, so let's start with the primaries. Uh, I just opened the shot with lift, gamma, and gain. I mean, that's the simplest thing you could do to start uh, is the primaries, opening the shot a little bit, bringing it to life slightly. The next thing I did was white balance. It was really warm in there already. I had to move the offset here slightly downwards toward a cooler region when I opened my vector scope for that. Any other adjustments I made, it looked unnatural. It still lacks contrast, obviously. So the next thing is the curves. Curves slash contrast. Curves slash contrast. And all I did was do a little S curve, editable splines. As you can see, brought this down a little bit, brought the bottom point up to give it more dynamic range. I have a video about that too, right up there. All right, so let's move on. Saturation was looking crazy. So I brought it down in the HDR wheels right here. And then the skin brought it to normal skin tone. It was going more towards the green side. So I just brought it to where it needed to be. So now the shot looked a uh, natural a starting point I wanted it to be at. So this is all my correction. And I just used this parallel node structure here to keep things organized. I felt that'd be more efficient and it would just blend better together if I added them in a parallel node structure. All right, let's go to look and you can see the picture is gonna dramatically change. Boom, uh, how did I do it? Split toning in the curves. I have a video on that too at the top. And all I did was obviously I added cool tones to the shadows, upper shadows. So I brought the green point and the blue point up and then I added warm tones to the mid tones and highlights. So by bringing the red and green up, I added more of an orange tint to those points while keeping it cool in the shadows. For the context of this video, that was the grade that needed to happen. The black here, all I did was go to the HDR wheels and right here where it says dark, I just brought this up toward the orange and red here just to, to warm up, bring the blackest point back to black, pure black, because I didn't want it, the blackest black to be blue. That would make it look a little unnatural. And then I brought the saturation down because I thought it was starting to look a little bit too much for me, especially the background. Oh, 
and these are the power windows and these all are going to give the shot more depth i did it in a parallel node structure here just so it blends better together and it's more organized like this for me uh obviously i did a vignette with power windows and then i did kind of a tighter focus on the subject with the next one and then with this one i brightened up the his side where the sun is coming from more just so the shot looked more natural because if you darken it it's going to start to look unnatural and flat so i brightened it there because that's where the light is obviously coming from in the shot no denying that and then i darkened this side a little bit and desaturated it a tad because it was looking way too saturated on this wall here as you can see and it's distracting us from looking at the subject it's making the shot look unbalanced last one here uh let's go right here i pretty much added a power window to the side of his face to give his face more depth i wasn't thinking on the day i guess and i didn't put a negative fill there until later when we shot somebody else in the spot and then I was like, oh, this is what we need to put here. He looks flat. So good thing we have DaVinci. All right, let's go ahead and enable these three. So the rest of the things I did here were pretty much just adjustments on the look, just to fine tune it. I believe I brought down the intensity of the red with this using the qualifier. And then I just did a quick, you know, density increase in the color slice. It was easy. I went to density and I increased it a little bit. And I believe that gave the shot the richness it needed. And then glow, I added glow to the lights. And this is uh, this is for jazz, this promo. So gave it more of a jazzy look with the glow. You know, I wanted to keep the digital look. I wasn't going for a film look or anything, so. And then I added black and white around the edges. It's for the context of the video. And it also gives more focus to the center, which was a win-win, because I like the look of it. And then I added adjustments, and pretty much my adjustment at the end was, I was like, it's too red, like, behind his head. Like, the back wall where his head is, it's like, matches this his skin tone a little bit. So all I did was use the 3D qualifier, and I tried my best to only get the red behind his face without using a, a power window or, like, a magic mask. And I was able to do it. Just made the back wall look a little bit more gray just to give his face more of a pop in the shot and yeah that was pretty much it it's a simple grade corrections here a look here power windows here whatever i needed to add or adjust here thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful if you want more videos like this comment down below um any questions you can comment and ask i'll answer it pretty in depth so subscribe yeah all right see you in the next one